Last time I did a lot of work in my room, but I kind of finding that I don't like sitting in my room all day. So I usually go to I like working in the SU building because uh-huh. like upstairs we've got the nice um, room and it's got like windows on both sides and so much nice natural yeah. light. Is it high up? Yeah, so we've like got a whole view of Bristol and nice then like one. I usually yeah. go like a Sunday yeah. evening just like work out or like work a week the weekend and do some really nice stuff. And it's like this is sunset, this is so nice. What's the veggie food like in Hated? It's not too bad, like, it's either like really good or it's like, you didn't even try. Um, a guy at work um, told me that figs aren't vegetarian. Some figs, the non-edible ones, they smell like the shit. Basically, some are specialists that um, pollinate them and they do so, but they also use them as like a nest. So they'll hatch their eggs in there and then the baby wasps will like hatch. So they don't yes, have dead wasps no. in them? You would know. Oh, hello, Sue. Thank you. That looks amazing. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. When you eat, well, yeah, that's good value. Five quid. So. Where are you vegetarian? Mm. I have a thing for watching documentaries in batches. So if I, <laughs> I, I watched a bunch of vegan documentaries at the same time. Oh, did you, the problem is with those, they have a lot of inform- misinformation in them. Okay, yeah. Um, they're often debunked by like professors and they're like actually they're like scaremongering and things but, like especially things like G and things and it's just like Okay. Well I watched them without the intention of becoming vegan. I just wanted to like know more yeah. about it. Um, but then like watching literally all of the slaughterhouse footage, like I can't I, yeah. I I could from that point no longer justify a life but you for could. my lunch. But yeah. You know? But but why are you a vegetarian? Literally just purely environmental reasons. I think actually the problem with humans eating meat in principle, but obviously I would do this to it. Because obviously I want to work on food security and the fact is we all need to move towards a vegetarian diet if we want to feed it more. Just reality, because we don't have any more farmland left to move into. Soil quality is degrading. We just need to load. We like, just need to double our yield per hectare again mm. within the next 20 years. And we've done it before. Mm. What do you think is the future of food? Vertical farming. Urban farming. People will okay. get much closer to where their food is grown. Mm-hmm. But obviously that's not possible for all types of food. It's really very possible, even now, for like lots of salads and things, hydroponics work well, but not for some crops that need to root well into the soil. Like, you struggle to grow like your corn and maize. Yeah, sure. Or like you know, your potatoes in hydroponics. Is... Yeah, we certainly will get to a sustainable lifestyle when we like recycle our food waste into compost and things for the Yeah. But skyscraper is literally just a farm. I think like the sustainability of big corporate companies is such like a key to that. Yeah. Because, right, okay, I went to McDonald's in Sweden and they recycle in their McDonald's. They have a different bin for each different yeah. part of packaging. Imagine if they did that in America. Mm. Imagine if they did that in the UK. Imagine if Starbucks started doing that, all these coffee chains, like, mm. buy a thermal flask, 